New snowpack data from the BC River Forecast Centre has the Okanagan and Similkameen at more than 200% of normal. Snowpacks continued to grow for most of last month before temperatures turned up, sparking a rapid melt of snow at low and mid elevations. The snowpack in the Okanagan, 206%, is the highest recorded since 1980. I think we're certainly uh, at the stage in the season where typically this is fairly early in the snowmelt season. We, we generally start around about the early part of May and go to the end of the June. I think we're obviously seeing that um, things are happening early this year, and the forecast for the weather in the next while is expected to, to continue that. There might be some more um, high, high pressure ridge development later in the week into the weekend. I think that would really transition back into to that rapid melt. So I think um, certainly at the out outset here of this week, looking that this could be another challenging week in terms of uh, flows uh, across the interior. Okanagan Lake is rising five centimeters a day. And with 225 centimeters of snowmelt still to hit the lake, officials believe we could finish 20 centimeters above full pool. However, we're 72 centimeters below that point and 62 below the same day last year. Although I'm more concerned with uh, the state of Okanagan Lake than I was uh, a few weeks ago, it's still, um, I don't think we're going to get into the same uh, problems uh, we did last year. Communities along smaller creeks may be getting some reprieve as much of the low and mid-level snowpack has melted. But for larger tributaries like Mission and Trout Creek, there is plenty of high elevation snow still to go. For Castanet in Penticton, I'm Colin Dacre. Looking for a new ride? Click our auto mall in the yellow masthead for a huge selection of car dealers from throughout the valley. <laughs>